Now in business, the president of the African Development Bank Group, Adeo Miadishina, says that this, or in spite of the devastating effect of COVID-19 pandemic, Africa is poised on getting back on its developmental stride and even do better. He stated this on his first virtual meeting due to the unprecedented effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. These are extraordinary times. Never before has the limits of science been so tested. The span of our physical capacity stretched to unimaginable limits, and the economic gains we have made over decades lost in the wake of a global pandemic that's rocked economies, people, and institutions. Never have societies and their economies with highly vulnerable populations, especially women, youth, and children, faced challenges of such proportions that have plunged hundreds of millions into poverty all at the same time, everywhere across the globe. No nation has been spared. The death toll is disheartening. Our collective humanity is at risk, and the interconnectedness of our shared losses is deeply felt every single day. The effects are deep, and they will be prolonged. It will take massive and sustained efforts to help countries, especially African countries, to recover from the impacts of the pandemic. Never has the need for building economic, social, climate, and environmental resilience been more critical to sustaining growth and development. The he also highlighted the strategy to be adopted. I am grateful to the board of directors of the African Development Bank Group for approving the bank's COVID-19 crisis response facility to support regional member countries. We have been responsive, playing our counter-cyclical role within what's feasible, taking into consideration our prudential limits. We shifted our board of operation early and swiftly to allow staff and the board of directors to work virtually from home while providing the needed duty of care for their safety, well-being, health, and security. The board of directors, management, and staff work hard together virtually to approve operations to support countries. Our support is providing much needed fiscal relief for our member countries, all reeling from the effects of rising fiscal deficits, debt, and urgent needs for more resources to secure the lives and livelihoods of their populations.